Mm-mm-mm. Boy, 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 boy. You know, I, I, I'm trying to do a follow-up to this story that I did uh, almost maybe a year ago now. And so, well, let me start here. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to this crazy place, the mental house, okay? And so now, let's go here. Tommy, I want you to remember, we. this is what we're talking about, Milwaukee, but we are in Wisconsin, which is a very, very, I guess, a volatile, it was a swing state. Let me just suffice it to say that. So we know that these swing states are very important to the uh, candidates. And we also know that there, Wisconsin has done the f uh, fake electorate with Ron Johnson, which nobody seems to be putting these people in jail. I mean, it just amazes me. It amazes me. Uh, amazing grace, how sweet. And that's exactly what I feel about how some of these people are able to get away with what they get away with. Because if your skin tone was for real, for real brown, black, or uh, cream anywhere in between your ass would be in jail for a real long time there's no way in the world a black person would be able to function with a life like donald trump's out free in public i don't give a damn how rich he was you know what i'm saying? this is just actually it's so insulting and so damn crazy that it's really letting you really see and i just gotta say it the, the, the people we've been living with that's running our government, this elite mindset, are psychotic. And these are the ones that the queen let go. Y'all talking about these immigrants coming over here and being emptied out from the prisons. How y'all think America was started? They emptied out the damn prisons with the red coats. What was them crazies? The jails. They sent them over here to help facilitate the new world so all those people that was screwing our ancestors and raping them and shit guess what they was crazy white men you know what i'm saying and because listen it wasn't that many women on the colony that's they had to even ship some of them in okay so i'm saying this to say not only are you psychotic to know that we all mixed up together. This is uh, um, a word to the wise. There is no, you say, well, oh, I'm black, I'm black. <laughs> what? How? And then after they done bought us, brought us over here, messed up our lives, now we are participating in the elections now they trying to figure it out because our numbers keep growing how to get rid of our black asses and how to allow this evil, evil venom that's in their hearts, that's racist, that really just hate us because we black, because we're brown, and they don't like us because of that. There's some hateful ass demonic people who are willing to overturn elections, who are willing to vote for people, and there's some people that look like me, because you got to realize now that we all mixed up with each other, right? That's why I, I'm, I'm like, I'm really challenging some of the thought process, because who is black? Unless you go over to Africa and find, um, or get a Nigerian or a person that uh, Kenyan, uh, one of you know one of the countries from the continent, over in America, we all.
mixed up. That's why this shit is so insane that we doing over here. So now I'm in Milwaukee. I'm in a swing state. I'm not working the election because I told y'all last two elections I was arrested or I had some dealings with the police. And so I just said, you know, they it ain't worth it. You know, it is definitely not the money, but it's just not worth it for me as I begin to, um, you know, get older to sit there and, um, you know, break, break up because the last few elections were so charged. I mean, fights and all this kind of stuff and just being around that type of energy. Although I love the electricity that the election brings. Um, and that's kind of addictive. Um, but th- when you get to stories like this, people that are willing to risk their lives so Donald Trump can win. Now, this ain't funny. It This this buzz of energy going around these election uh, commissions and election facilities need to be vetted real good. Because... The follow-up story, um, the attorney for a former Milwaukee el- official, election official, her ass name was Kimberly Zapata, just so y'all know, charged with fraudulently requesting three military absentee ballots under fake names and sending them to a Republic lawmaker, Republican lawmaker who embraced election conspiracy theories argue Tuesday that she was uh, she was distraught over the threats and her brother's death. Now, somebody killed my brother. Matter of fact, killed him today and he was a, 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 a election inspector. Um, And I ain't never thought one time because he died that I need to go and steal some ballots. And, and Come on, listen to this madness. So I want to know, Kimberly Zimpada, Zimpada, I want her ass on notice. I don't want her showing up somewhere else in the state of Wisconsin because that's how white folks do. Okay? Y'all end up uh, uh, being a just an infidel and a riffraff in another county, and then you will move to another city and be accepted and welcomed as a job well done. And I'm really sick of that hypocrisy on every level. Kimberly Zambada, the former deputy director of Milwaukee Election Commission, is was on trial on multiple charges, including felony misconduct in office and three misdemeanor counts of making a false statement to obtain an absentee ballot. She faces up to five years behind bars if convicted on all four counts. Well, what happened? And according to this criminal complaint, a week before um, the November uh, 2022 election, Zapata fabricated three names with fake social security numbers and requested military absentee ballots in those names through My Vote Wisconsin, the state's voter database. Zampata told investigators that she used her government access to My Vote Wisconsin voter registration records to find state Republican Representative Janelle Branch's address and had the ballot sent to her, Menominee Falls home. Brandon has advocated for decertifying Biden's 2020 win in Wisconsin. And so for the past two years, um, <coughs> you know, he had exposed, I mean, she had exposed all these damn conspiracy theories supporting her theories. Okay? A bunch of crackpots. Um, Zapata's attorney, Daniel Adams, contends that 
Zapata saw herself as a whistleblower. He tried to use testimony Tuesday from Election Commission's executive director, Claire Whittall Vogue, to paint Zapata as a political neophyte who fixated on gaps in the election system. Yeah, right. Um, this uh, Woodall Vogue told Adams that Zapata doesn't follow politics or current events. She says Zapata sees the world in black and white terms, and if something doesn't make sense, she will hound you until it does. And that's the same shit this lady called when I asked her, where is Zampata? She told me the same cockamamie story, and I shut her down. I said, ma'am, listen, with all due respect to you, you may believe that simple-minded crap, but because I don't have a lot of faith in what's going on in this climate, um, you can just say that because you making excuses for somebody who was busted doing some stuff that she really had no business doing. So I really don't want to hear you making excuses. Oh, no, 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 ma'am. I, I don't want to hear her, Cletus. Okay. She, uh, now, she tried to uh, valid, uh, vouch for her personality Yet and still, she said she was stunned to learn that Zampata had requested those ballots. She said that she and Zampata, she asked Zampata if she had ever heard of Harry Waite. <coughs> Waite similarly obtained absentee ballots in the summer of 2022 by posing as Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Racine Mayor Corey Mason on applications and mailed the ballots to Brangen. So all these people were sending their fake shit, their fake madness <coughs> to this Republican. See, there's not going to be any integrity in the um, upcoming election because, you know, not only is Kamala running away with it, there's some people that don't want the people to be heard. Okay? Now, I know we got a lot of problems in America. Way too many for me to even get into on this podcast. However... You know, what we up against right now is something real, real critical. And we have to look at it in terms that, you know, all empires have fallen. And a lot of us, including me, ain't ready to see the empire just die yet. Because what happens is when you have these agent provocateurs and when Donald Trump has systematically been allowed to just d desecrate all of our normal institutions. And I'm not saying these institutions didn't have problems and needed to be um, investigated and checked on in most circumstances. But the people didn't get a chance to do that. So what has happened is he's just laid shit on all of our, I mean, Department of Justice, Depart the FBI, the CIA. And, of course, I don't have no love for these organizations because I know some of the trash that they've done. You know, the murders they've committed. I know, I know that. I know what J. Edgar Hoover did. However, you, you, you have more of a chance of rectifying and getting that, that spirit up out of there if you do it in, in the 
decency and in order and in the fashion that it should be. You don't need to do do it by doing stuff like this. Putting fake people in places that we know that we used to could feel true about them. Trust me, working in an election is very difficult. And at the end of the night when we have to count those ballots or and send them to the election commission, we've done a very thorough job. Well, in most cases, and I can say in our uh, most of the precincts that I worked at or been an inspector of, inspector of there was very... Um, well, how can I say? A lot of time and effort put into making sure this stuff go right. And now this dude then came along and got us just really, he single-handedly poured shit, and well, I won't say single-handedly, him and MAGA, I mean, just destroyed all these institutions. And so now... How can you, with a good conscience, go vote and you know you got people like Zampata who lies and gets freaking votes that you already know you got 70 election deniers and that are already in place. You heard Donald Trump say that don't worry about it, it's going to be the last election because Basically, it just seems that he pours so much doubt in it that nobody wants to even um, deal with it. All of our news outlets have gone rogue. As in, as opposed to pointing out the truth, they allow lies to keep going on. So this is all a sign of a fallen empire, y'all. That's what it's a sign of. And I don't mean to sit up here and keep, you know, just going on and on and on. But what I'm saying is, I, we got them right here in Wisconsin. They all over the damn place. And that's what worries me about this election coming up. It's going to be very difficult. Because how can we trust it? I do know nobody, you can tell by the energy People want to look, just get past Donald Trump. Everything he's gone, he's he's destroyed. He's made chaos, and the foolish people that are sick and mental in need of a doctor, their own self, because they're so damn sick, are gravitating towards this kind of energy and spirit. And it doesn't matter the the color of the person. You got black MAGA, who gets shown a uh, nigger wake-up call every time they try to gather, but yet and still they want to be different than the rest of us colors. So they join MAGA. So it's it's really a cesspool, and the people that are dealing with trying to make the election legitimate or make it or give you some sense of normalcy, you don't know if they corrupt or not, you know, because this this is this is crazy. And the part that gets me is that we just some of us are just coming on to this, and this plan has been in place for a very long time. They had a big head start on how to ruin this shit. You know, remember, there's a marionette. Donald Trump is just a puppet. So with this being said, um, there's plenty of Kim Zapatas who are unethical, unreasonable, and just uh, sore on um, humanity. A sore on them. Kimberly Zampata, I can't believe you did this, girl. Here she is. Director of Milwaukee uh, Election Commission. 
Okay. Anyway, she's gone now. And um, I still haven't found out if she's in jail yet. So if anybody, or is she, where is she serving her time? Or if she's at all. Because I can't find no information about that. I seem to be pretty hush about that here in Wisconsin. Like we don't talk around about Ron Johnson very much. <sighs> I don't know. What say you? What about your state? Are you in a swing state? Do you got these fake electoral problems right now or in your state? You know what they do in Georgia. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, so if you like what you hear, I'm going to get off here. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel. And um, we'll see each other in the next video.